In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare wheat or rye for grain spawn. Both of these grains are prepared in exactly the same way, and the only reason you would use one over the other is probably down to location and price. Normally the grains double in size, so if you weigh out four jars, then you'll likely get around eight jars. Fill the bucket of grain up with water and then leave it overnight. Also, give the bucket a bit of a shake around to release all the floaters and the debris that might be stuck at the bottom. You want that to float to the top. The next day you just want to pour all the water out and then fill it up with water again, pour that out and then just keep washing out the water until it loses its colour so it'll have a little red tinge. You want that to go and make sure while you're doing that you're getting all the floaters and the debris and the little specks out of the bucket. Next thing you want to do is add the grain and the water into a pan and then simmer the grains for 10 to 20 minutes. The grains will double in size and should look like this. Now while the water is still hot you want to drain the water from the grains. You want to let all the water on the outside of the grains evaporate away inside your sink. And just keep giving these a shake every 5-10 minutes, move them around a bit until they are dry to touch or near enough. There might be a tiny bit of moisture on the outside, but don't worry about that, it'll get absorbed during the pressure cooker cycle. Finally, once the wheat is dry and the colour starts to look a bit more like this, you can pack them into your jars, put your lids on and then sterilise for 90 minutes at 15 psi. <laughs> 